UCLA freshman Adai Mara eight minutes against Oregon State, but a lot of his impact on the game came in ways that the box score does not indicate here on this first possession of the game matched up defensively off the out of bounds with Jordan Pope ends up being rooted out by Marial on the baseline drive has to hold his front physically what you like about Mara is his hedge technique on pick and roll he's choppy steps he's sliding his feet he's also recovering quickly He's not having a lot of wasted movement. Creeping on that baseline offensively against the zone, Mara goes up, uses a pump fake, gets the defender in the air, and gets to the foul line. Here's a change or something different in terms of physicality from what we've seen from Mara early in the season. He's fighting early, not allowing Marial and the Oregon State bigs to do what they want, using physical bumps, forearm shivers, elbows, there recovered on the back screen got to his man tipped it out possession Bruins once again Mar creeping on the baseline this is perfect timing against the zone guard to wing pass Mar ducks in he actually was open for the look has perfect offensive rebounding position isn't allowed to jump because Mario held him on that possession as Mara continues to evolve he's going to throw that arm off and get that rebound right here back screen quick reactions for a 7-3 guy understands when the screen is coming and then quick enough to beat the screener and get to the spot great help side defense good challenge here is where the subtleties and nuances of division one basketball or kicking in for, for Big Mara. Nice little subtle screen there. Opens up the lane for Mac for two. Mara here. Really good defensive possession. Fights Marial on the block. Doesn't allow him for the deep catch closer to the rim. Makes him catch it out on the mid range. Now here. Hand on Marial. Hand high. Times it. Gets sold on the actual first shimmy. Recovers quickly for the block shot. Mara got away with a hold there. He's learning. He's evolving. This is what happens when you're a freshman. You're halfway through your season. You start to pick up some of the tricks of the trade. Mara showed an incredible ability as far as defensive IQ of just knowing people's plays. Uh, you can tell he knows the action. He knows the plays. He knows exactly what time it is and what's going on on all the actions. And he's always seems to be a step early on stuff. Uh, the last couple of games in particular against USC and now Oregon State, just playing with the renewed level of energy, confidence, and aggressiveness. It doesn't show up in the box score because he's not putting up a ton of points. You know, he doesn't have a ton of time, but right here, great post position, shapes up to the pass, the passer, which was Lazar, and then makes a difficult pass out to Will McClendon, hits him right in the shot pocket for a big three. Now watch this slide rhythm here. Someone mentioned this in the spaces I was on last night. Mara showing a bit agility, functional athleticism, gets back, puts his hands up as he's running back, which obstructs the vision. That's a little small nuanced detail, but it's great to see that Mars locking in right here, gets fouled. Ref didn't call it. He's a little perturbed. That's okay. A few moments later. Scores 60 to 54 key baseline out of bounds possession. Mara right here. Lock it up defensively on Jordan Pope. And this is what Mara gives you the most. It's effort. It's a love for the game. It's I don't care who I'm guarding. I'm 7-3. This dude is 5-9. So what? Mara forces him out of bounds. Big turnover in a big position for the Bruins.